If you're in the Apple ecosystem with a computer or an iPhone, here are my top five other Apple products that I'm using every day, and you would probably use them too. So first up is the iPad. If you're interested in getting an iPad these days, you are in luck because there are more options now, and with new and more powerful versions coming out every year, that means you can get last year's best and brightest for a fraction of the cost now. I've been using the iPad Air 5 with the M1 chip over the last year, and this is the iPad that I recommend these days for the masses. The iPad mini is also a great choice if you're looking for something a little more portable, but these new M1 chips are just so fast and powerful, it turns these tablets into a whole other type of computing system. I'm using it every day for my script writing, doing research, emails, texting, scrolling through the news, watching YouTube videos, playing some video games here and there. It really is just an extension of my Mac laptop and the desktop version. These iPads are also great to use as a second screen next to your main monitor. So you're using Apple's sidecar these days or other types of window sharing apps available now. You stick your iPad on one of these stands. This is a new stand for a moment that I've been trying out. I really like this. Or you just have it flipped up on your smart folio style case. And now you've got a second screen to use at your disposal. Or heck, make it a third screen if you've got your dual monitor system already going. It's just super handy. You add a pencil to the mix and now you're able to write notes, get into drawing and painting programs, and it's a really different user experience. I'm usually working with the pencil in one hand and then tapping on the iPad with the other. It's just a great device that I'm definitely addicted to and using every day. So if you've got yourself an iPhone, then an Apple Watch is the perfect complement to it as it's connected through Bluetooth and it's like having a mini iPhone on your wrist now. You can talk through it, you can do tons of health and fitness related programs with it, read your text messages. It's just really nice to not have to take out the silly iPhone out of your pocket every time it buzzes. Now you just simply look at your wrist, get a notification and see if it's worth spending your time on. And it's also in the same position where every year another Apple Watch comes out so you can get these Apple Watch 8s which were extremely capable and was the hottest thing just one year ago at highly discounted rates. This September we are coming back to our normal September event with iPhones and new Apple Watches dropping and everything will probably be the same price as it was last year. That's kind of the game we're playing with Apple every year the devices get a little better but the price remains the same so if you're looking for a way to dip your toes in with the Apple watches check out that watch series 8 we've got a review of it up here I'm using the Apple Watch Ultra which I absolutely love being an Apple Watch user for the last seven years, charging it and keeping the watch charged was always my common battle for me. And with this Apple Watch Ultra, you're getting now about three days worth of charge, which has turned out to be a huge game saver for me. One tip I can recommend if you do have problems keeping your Apple Watch charged is to get one of these three-in-one style chargers featuring MagSafe all around it. It's super helpful for me to just have one of these as my main charging station for all my devices, the iPhone, the watch, and the AirPods. And speaking of AirPods, as a music lover and musician, music is a huge part of my life and something that I'm constantly ingesting all day long. So finding an easy, reliable way to just get that dose of music when I needed it, these AirPod Pros have really delivered. And this is another one of those products that I am using every day. Both versions right now, the AirPod 3s and the AirPod Pro Generation 2s are excellent with all the features now. MagSafe charging cases, the sound is amazing, especially in these Pros. I am always blown away by how good these sound. And if you want to adjust how your individual music is sounding, there are settings for different EQ types. You can mess around and really fine tune, get the perfect desired sound out of these that you want. The noise canceling feature is also a total game changer. So I have these in all the time when it's time to focus, when it's time to work. I'm using them for my Zoom calls every time. Having that microphone right by your mouth, it makes those Zoom calls feel and sound a lot more genuine.
And when you have these paired with Apple Music subscription, you are tapped into practically every single piece of music you could ever think of. So I think it's well worth the subscription for Apple Music, just due to the vast amount of music you can tap into. It's that dream I had as a teenager when I was buying all these CDs and cassettes. I just wanted one place that I could go to that had everything. And now Apple Music is pretty dang close to that. So I say definitely check out a pair of AirPods for your Apple ecosystem experience. Give yourself a nice little break and bring some more music into your life. Sticking with the music side of things, Apple has been slowly and methodically getting into the audio visual industry as well. This new second gen HomePod is another device that I am using every day for not only listening to music, listening to podcasts, but I also have it hooked up to the Apple TV. And this new HomePod has enough power to give you a full room immersive audio experience. When I first plugged it in and played my first song, I was amazed at the bass of this little thing. Having six speakers all around it and a feature where it is able to kind of scan the room and see where the walls are to give you the best experience and know which speakers to really use. I was just really blown away and that it's 300 bucks. You can get two of them and have a left and right side for an even louder experience. So it might not be something for the apartment dweller, but definitely for your underground bunker, your man cave, your she shed, these are highly recommended for listening to music when it's time to take out those AirPods and give your earlobes a rest. I mentioned the Apple TV and this is the last product that I'm using pretty much every day to get my media. I watch some shows, I watch a movie, I watch the news, even watch some YouTube once in a while. Apple TV has definitely been keeping up in the streaming television box industry, taking on Roku and other brands. Now with all these new updates coming out in September, the Apple TV is gonna be a really awesome and well-connected device to your home app settings. I'm able to now see my security cams popping up as I'm watching television, so you'll know exactly who's at the front door and when it's time to meet the television and pretend like you're not home. There's also new widgets coming out that will let you keep track of scores for your favorite baseball teams, and you can also do FaceTime calls on this now, so you get the FaceTime call set up on your big screen, you got it connected to either your iPad or your iPhone, and you're using that as your webcam. You put the iPhone right next to the TV and it's using that continuity camera feature. It's a really cool experience and a really nice way to have your FaceTime call now up on the big screen television. Alongside all that, there's an insane amount of apps out there and other streaming services that are all connected and fighting for your attention and your money. And if you're crafty, you can definitely find a lot of free content on there as well. If you're a gamer, you can hook up a bunch of different remote controls to this now, and Apple has a whole arcade section that requires another subscription, of course, but that unlocks a whole other side of this as an actual gaming console. These new Apple TVs also have really great connectivity and HDMI is pumping out some insane quality to keep your ultra high definition televisions happy and give you the best viewing experience possible. Just another really great device, and I hope Apple sticks to the audio visual industry more. Apple everything, why not? So I'll see you at the next video. Please hit that subscribe button so we can keep in touch on the new Apple products drop in and how I'm using that stuff as a content creator out in the world. So thanks everyone, take care.